What's up guys, it's January drum box time and I got some fan mail and something special. So anyway, let's do this. What's up guys, it's time for another drum box. Uh, and just so you know, if you look behind me, I changed up my background just a little bit. Just really on the top there, you can see like a, a VCR back there. I want to get a VCR like incorporated in like all my backdrops now. If I can't have Jolene, at least I can get a VCR in there. So got the VCR back there. Uh, somebody posted on Instagram the other day, where's the where's the wrap mask? And I told him, I was like, I'm not done yet. There it is right there. So I got Shawn Michael Cadillac's wrap right there. Dave Vanderhoff, a few of his masks are up here. A lot of this stuff, most of this stuff, I'd say most of this stuff is stuff that you guys have sent me. So really, the Drum Dumb's Evil Lair is made up of you guys. And I really appreciate that. So anyway, uh, we got a few things I'm gonna open tonight and uh, I got something special I wanna show at the end. Um, but I'm gonna open this up first, the Horror Pack. And by the way, let me know which background you like because the last few backgrounds I did, I did it uh, in front of Jolene over there. And I like that background. And I also like this background. So it's nice to have two. I'm not saying I'm gonna go to one exclusively, but it's nice to switch it up. But anyway, Horror Pack, it's a, uh, a monthly DVD or Blu-ray horror uh, su uh, subscription service. And uh, you sign up, they, they come right to your door once a month. There's gonna be limited editions, uh, exclusives, uh, just all kinds of groovy stuff. Sometimes you'll see like steel books in there and a lot of times you'll see like independent horror Which I like I think that's the biggest thing I love about horror pack is they support independent horror stuff that you wouldn't even think about uh, So yeah looking forward to jumping into this month. Let's see what we got All right, first one is the domestics Kate Bosworth and Tyler Hoshin. I've heard of this movie before the domestics Okay, uh, look interesting. It's a post-apocalyptic world inhabited by murderous gangs so kind of like a, a Mad Max type deal, right? Next up, this is the uh, Horror Pack Limited Edition, Crazy to Crazy. That actress looks very familiar, doesn't she? I'm trying to place who that is. Mark Ashworth, Robert, Marla Malcolm. Maybe it's Marla Malcolm. She looks very familiar though. But uh, yeah, limited edition, okay? You will only find these limited edition movies in the Horror Pack. Is, oh, I'm so glad I got this finally. Unsane. This movie was filmed exclusively on an iPhone. I think an iPhone 6 or 5, I think 5. But uh, it just goes to show, Steven Soderbergh, anybody can do this, anybody can make a film. You know, and you had a director, high profile director like Steven Soder Soderbergh saying, I'm up for the challenge. And he made a damn gripping little movie. And then last one is The Dead Room. And this looks like one of those supernatural, crazy, scary movies. The Dead Room, I don't know about this one. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna shoot you straight. I don't know about this one. We'll see. Uh, who knows? It could be good. Sometimes those those good ones they slip under the radar, right? So, the dead room. All right. Uh, next up, I believe this is the Rue Morgue. Uh, they they have a nicer packaging here. Keep keep that magazine safe and secure and wrinkle free. Rue Morgue magazine is a. Uh, I think it's bi monthly. I think it's every two months they put out. Uh, a new Rue Morgue magazine. Andrea Subasati, good friend. She is the editor-in-chief over there. And uh, yes, horror from the Middle East. I love Rue Morgue because they always do horror themes. You can see back there, I got my uh, Italian horror because I'm such a big fan of Italian horror, but this is great. And right on the front page too, I like that they recommend a lot of uh, lesser known horror films. Um, you know, you got like Tourist Trap in there, Other Side of Madness, uh, The Hex, you know, uh, Return to Splatter Farm. A lot of good stuff in here, actually. But you're going to find, uh, you know, these articles. Uh, this is an article on Psycho Goreman. I just reviewed that. Psycho Goreman is great. Freaking great. On the back, you got like 4K releases that are coming up, but it's all horror. It's all great stuff. Uh, Psycho Goreman is really kind of burning up the, uh, the interwebs right now. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that there's a guy at work, Mike, if Mike, if you see this, uh, Mike came up, he's like, what's this movie PG that people are talking about? I'm like, Psycho Gore, man. That's cool. It's like, it's literally bled out into like the, the normal people that aren't obsessed with horror like we are, right? So isn't that cool when one of your friends that's not as into horror as you, as much as you are, they mention a movie to you that you're like, oh wow, that's, 
that's kind of uh, something that most people aren't talking about right now. Uh, I always like the Fright Rags photo gallery too, you know? Some nice spicy photos in there this time. Yeah, good stuff though. Uh, I, I will have a link for this below. Click on it and uh, it's my affiliate link so it'll, it'll let them know that you're coming from Drum Dums and it helps me out too. Uh, and I think you might get a little discount on there, okay? So yeah, Rue Morgue Magazine. All right, opening one here. Uh, I think this one, it says Ruben Rodriguez, but this might be from Some Neat. Some Neats did tell me that something's coming my way. And it looks really cool too. And I, I almost screwed up the case. But it's a Bloody New Year. I'd never heard of this movie, but you don't have too many New Year's horror movies. I think Time's Up, the Damien Maffey movie that's coming out that he's uh, producing and starring in, I think that's a, a New Year's horror movie. So yeah, Bloody New Year. Thank you. I think that's Sumney. Thank you, Sumney. Okay, this one is from Jim Demick, who is one of my newest patrons. Thank you so much for that. So a lot of goodies in this one and a nice letter. And uh, it says, uh, Drum Dumbs, hello. Enclosed is the DVD, The Signal. I mentioned it to you on Patreon. Uh, I hope you get a chance to review it. With you being such a big horror fan, I also enclosed a few art prints of some of my original pencil drawings. I hope you enjoy them. Keep up the killer videos. Oh, wow, this is cool. It's awesome when I get like, um, you know, you, you artists out there. Uh, you drawers, what would you call you guys? Artists, okay? I remember like Emilio on Instagram, I still have that. And I think that was my first year and he sent me that cool Michael Myers and it's me with Myers with the mask off. And I've kept that there ever since. And uh, he sent me a crow one too, which I have, I have over there. Wow, man, Jim, this is amazing. So this is Sam. These are drawings by Jim, guys. Sam, this is The Shining, wow. Man, this is amazing, Jim. I, I got a great place to put these two. Beautiful work, beautiful work. Uh, this is Horror Icons. I think that's Michael, Freddy, Jason, and Leatherface. Look at that. Wow. And we got uh, Halloween from the first Halloween right there. Very nice, very nice. Jim, you are one talented dude, man. This is The Signal. And I've heard of this movie before too. This is a movie, so I will get a review out for you on this one, Jim. The Signal. Thank you so much, man. Very nice stuff. Very talented. Okay, um, this last one, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's from Dylan. Uh, Dylan is my friend who passed away uh, almost two years ago now. Two years this May, he will have passed away. Um, Robin you, uh, is his aunt. Robin, you beautiful soul. She reached out to me and Leela and, and uh, a couple others that were really close to Dylan and she wanted to send us some items of Dylan. And I pondered over, sh should I show this on camera? And I thought, you know, there's a lot of movies in there. And I thought, you know what? Wouldn't it be cool to, to remember Dylan to show some of the movies that he had, the movies that he was into? Because I know some of them, but I don't know all the movies that Dylan was into. So, and I've waited, I don't even know what all is in this box, but I figured I'd share it with the audience. So that way, it's just another way to remember Dylan. But first, she sent me this ring of Dylan's too. And I'll, I'll do some B-roll because I have it sitting here, but I'll put it on too, actually. And it's uh, Dylan's skull ring. And uh, I also have a poster of Dylan's that one of his friends sent me last year. So I think of Dylan every day. I swear to God I do. Just every single day. Something from Dylan pops up because he's one of the most unique people I have ever met. I was blessed to have him as a friend. And uh, yeah, he's just a, a beautiful soul. You know, one thing I loved about Dylan so much is that he was just so welcoming to people. You know, uh, and when we started Killer Flicks, he was just one of these guys that was always like getting into the conversations. And, you know, I would say Dylan's... He kind of he came off as extroverted, even though I think he was kind of introverted. But if you got to know him, the guy wouldn't hush. He just constantly wanted to talk about life, about horror, about everything. And he's just one of the easiest people to talk to and just one of the most welcoming. You know, within five minutes, you knew, like, this was somebody that was so unique. You know, that was Dylan. And I was fortunate enough to know him for a few years before he unfortunately passed. Uh, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you guys the, some, this is some of Dylan's stuff. 
This was a t-shirt, Volcom. Now, I, I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what Volcom is from, okay? And yes, I did smell the t-shirt when it came in. You know, like I can smell Dylan. That's, I know that's weird to say, but it's the first thing I did. It's like, it was like an, um, like an unconscious thing. I just was like, I wanna smell Dylan. So, all right, uh, we're gonna go through these. Devil's Rejects, he was, I mean, I don't even have to talk. He loved Rob Zombie to death. He was obsessed with Sherry Moon Zombie. He met both of them. He was literally friends with Sherry Moon Zombie. The faculty, love the faculty. Um, Ter oh my God, this is an awesome cover too. Terror Train, yeah. And I, these are all from Australia too. Love Terror Train. Uh, Rest Stop. Rest Stop. I still haven't watched Rest Stop. I need to watch it. I, I probably haven't seen a lot of these that Dylan has here. Uh, Wes Craven presents Don't Look Down. Wes Craven did a lot of movies that I've never even heard of. It's weird. Uh, the Burning. Gather around the camp. Is this the is this the actual The Burning? Yeah, this is The Burning. Dylan loved freaking horror. This is awesome. Machete. Machete. He's a big Robert Rodriguez fan too. Who isn't? Uh, and this Dementia 13. This looks to be like an Italian horror film. Could be wrong, but that looks like an Italian horror horror cover he loved italian horror dylan is what got me into italian horror i had never watched an italian horror film i don't think before i met dylan and now i've seen quite the catalog sin city freaking classic uh lady snowblood volume one never heard of this it looks like it looks to be an asian film um it's, it's direct inspiration for tarantino's kill bill how cool is that uh, oh, yes, Intruder. Everybody has been talking about this movie lately on Killer Flicks for some reason. Now I can finally see it. This was, like, Quentin Tarantino is a big fan of this movie, too. I was just watching one of his uh, documentaries on Pulp Fiction the other day, and they talked about uh, Intruder. Four Flies on Gray Velvet. I know this is, uh, uh, yeah, a film by Dario Argento. Got a Blu-ray here. The Void. I remember talking to Dylan about The Void. He loved this movie. He would have loved Psycho Goreman. He really would have. Uh, Rosemary's Killer, directed by Joseph Zito. You had me at Joseph Zito. Uh, Lisa and the Devil, one that I've never heard of. Looks to be Italian. Lisa and the Devil. The Driller Killer. I've heard that title before. Uh, the Driller Killer. You can see, I mean, Dylan, I mean, he went deep, you know? He went deep with his horror. Stage Fright. I've heard of Stage Fright before. But there's so many of these I haven't seen. Uh... The Stendhal Syndrome. This is Dario Argento too. And I got a, a drawer out there that I keep a lot of DVDs. I'm gonna have a special drawer just for Dylan. That's where these are gonna go. The Dylan drawer. I'm gonna have a Dylan drawer. Puppet Master. Shame to see I haven't seen like most of these. Oh wow. Masters of Terror Volume 1 Mario Baba. Man, I'm gonna take good care of this Dylan, right? Mario Baba. This is insane. This this has Black Sunday, Black Sabbath, Hatchet for the Honeymoon, Shock, Mario Bava, Maestro of Macabre. Wow. Uh, this is a foreign film. I, 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 I can't read that, but uh, on the back, it's got a chainsaw killer, and that's good enough for me. It's, I think it's called Recycle. Recycle. Uh, Horror Triple Pack, Zombies Anonymous, The Vampire Conspiracy, The Death Factory, Bloodletting. Looks like a vampire triple feature. Creepy Things, 20 Great Scary Movies. This actually has Night of the Living Dead in it. Man, Attack of the Giant Leeches, White Zombie, Tormented. Man, so many big heavy hitters on this one. Dead Eyes. Yeah. I might have to do like a little close-up of that one. A lot of good stuff. Oh, Reanimator. I actually have the steel book of this too. Reanimator. I still need to watch Reanimator. I know. I haven't seen Reanimator. Uh, April Fool's Day. Freaking classic. Love April Fool's Day. And, oh, oh, man, this is cool. Lords of Salem book. Dylan loved Lords of Salem to death. That, I think that might have been his favorite zombie film, Lords of Salem. But this is, this is the book. Really cool. Uh, this is Blood Beast or Feast. I think it's Blood Feast, 2000 Maniacs, The Birth of Gore, Volume 1. So is this like four movies? Yeah, Blood Feast, 2000 Maniacs, Color Me, Blood Red, Wizard of Gore. Man, my, I, my review slate is going to be runneth over full. And here's a Blu-ray of The Burning. 
Very nice. Very nice. And uh, I don't, I don't, I'm going to read what Robin wrote here uh, just because it's so sweet. I've read it before. I don't think there's anything. I don't think she would mind. It says, Dear Lee, my heart both aches and finds comfort in sending you these things that belong to our wonderful Dylan. He had only two rings. You have one and I the other. I hope one day for us to be able to sit together and remember him with joy. And I, I remember him with joy every day, Robin, as I'm sure you do too. That's it. That is uh, this month's drum box. This was a special one for me. This one was for Dylan. And uh, I'm just going to leave you with uh, this ring. going to put this ring on. And uh, should I put it there? I'll put it there, yeah. Love you, Dylan. Love you, brother.